Hi, I'm Rashonda, and so I'm going to be doing a bunch of requests in one video. Okay. Well, hopefully my baby doesn't wake up. He's sleeping over there. And also, just throwing this up there. I finally got my hair done. It's been, like, <laughs> seriously forever. It was nice to actually, like, treat myself and get it done. Okay. So, um... The first one is Rashonda. My penis is 7 inches hard and 5.5 soft. I'm 14 years old. <sighs> and I really want to know if that's a good size before I get humiliated if it's too small. Please reply. P.S. I'm intact, of course. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're a good size. I'm probably just sending this because you want me to talk about your penis. <laughs> I think that's why most guys send it. Um, because you probably know that. And lucky about being intact. Your parents made the right, cho right choice. Okay, so the next one is, it is your choice to protect him from infection, and I do not believe you are protecting him from that. It is your choice how you raise him, though, and to know whatever happens, it all has to do with his options and he that he was given or not given at the time. Best of luck with the rest of your pregnancy. Hope all goes well. Okay. So obviously this guy hasn't followed my videos. Um, this is like a newer inbox. And my baby's 18 days old. So. Um, and I don't expect him to have any more infections than, like, myself. Um, the infection thing is like totally a scare tactic, obviously. And... Actually, I read on Facebook a comment from one of my friends who's on Facebook who's also an intactivist. Um, it's, he wrote, If tradition was to cut off the whole penis, then men would insist on doing it to their sons. Which is true. I mean, they would cut off their son's entire penis if theirs was gone too. Twisted. It's not your choice to mutilate your child's body. Let them decide when they're older. Okay, so the next one is, please read. Okay, I'm not going to read the whole thing, it's long. And so, he said, did you see the video of the He Is My Master opening I posted on my last question letter to see what the maid uniform looks like and what did you think of the video? Okay, so... He gives you like a scenario that his sister gave him or whatever with like pull ups and spanking and diaper well pull ups yeah diapers same difference and mini skirts and a bunch of stuff. Okay. He sent like this message like a thousand times. <laughs> Probably like three times a day. And sorry, no, I didn't watch it. Um if I ever get a chance to watch it, which I probably won't because I'm so busy. Obviously I'm busy. <laughs> it's hard to even make YouTube videos because I have like school and the baby and the baby's like total full time job. But totally worth it and stuff. So if I get a chance to watch it, then I'll answer your question, but I probably won't. <sighs> but good luck with whatever you choose. Okay, so the next one is, if you were being chased by a stranger whom you knew was going to hurt you, or possibly worse, and then he put in brackets, you can imagine, but suddenly this person slipped or fell off the edge of a cliff but managed to grab the edge and hang on, and nobody else was around while you walk over to the edge and look down at this person with very bad intentions, this person is at your mercy, knowing that if you run, this person will is definitely going to climb back up and do something bad to you, what would you do? And I was hoping you could make a video response to this question, but a message will do just as well. Thanks. Okay, well, obviously I'm doing a video response. So, um, self-defense, obviously. I'm going to push him off the cliff, pretty much. Um, I have a baby to look after, obviously. And I wouldn't lie about it, though. I'd call the cops and let them know what happened. And they can deal with the rest, I guess. Um, because it looks really, it looks way worse if you would hide something like that. And then you're probably going to go to jail once they find out it was you. 
Whereas if you just tell them the truth off the bat, they're gonna be like, oh, okay, and I'm like investigate or whatever, but um and I don't know, I guess if I if I could get away, like without ever seeing them again, then I wouldn't push them off the cliff. But if not, which it sounds like this is the scenario, then I wouldn't knock them off the cliff. Okay. So the next one is, congratulations for having a baby, Rashonda. Hope we'll be showing your pretty feet furthermore in your videos. Thanks. And yeah, I will. I mean, I usually kind of do them on the love seat, like I am now. Kind of lazy <laughs> and relaxing at home, being tired and with no socks on. So you can see my feet in most videos. And then every once in a while, I will do close-ups. But. Okay, so the next one is make a video where a dog licks your feet. It would pro it'd be sexy and cool, please. Okay, so first of all, I would probably knock out the dog with my feet because I have like very ticklish feet and I'd probably like kick him. <laughs> Poor dog. Um, and also, my dog died like a couple years ago. I think like two years now. Um, and he never licked my feet, even when he was here. Okay, so, the next one is, I know this is really weird, but will you please do a video giving self ball busting instructions? I'm almost 18 and no girls I know will help me with this. Okay, well maybe they won't help you with it, because they don't know what to do. Because honestly, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to self ball bust. Um, yeah, I have no idea. Um, you can probably look it up on YouTube. Cameron said there's on America's Got Talent. Um, there's a guy who does self ball busting, and I heard it was pretty bad. So maybe you could find that on YouTube or something. So yeah, um, that's all. That's my video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.